What's going on guys, Ryan Nelson here, and you know why you're here. You wanna get rid of that rolling shutter, every little mirrorless camera, DSLR, cheaper camera, if you don't have a global shutter, you probably have rolling shutter. So it's an issue that we all deal with and you wanna get rid of it quick. So today on Minute Monday, we're gonna show you how to get rid of rolling shutter so quick. So let's get that clock rolling and I'm gonna show you how to get rid of rolling shutter. Can I say that enough? Start that clock, let's go. Okay, so rolling shutter, if you don't know exactly what it is, here's an example, here's with the rolling shutter, here is the fixed rolling shutter. So this tip, it's super, super, so simple. Oh my God, I can't wait to tell you guys this is so simple. In fact, it's so simple, I'm just gonna let the clock run out a little bit. With the camera in your hand, you're shooting your shot, you're going back and forth like this. Guess what you're gonna get? You're gonna get the rolling shutter. All you have to do, you ready? Are you ready for this? All you have to do, this is so easy. It's so easy and cheap and free. It's free. All you have to do is shoot like that. That's all. That's it. That's it. That's all you have to do. Did I get that in under a minute? Four seconds left. Mm, yes. Ooh. Knew I could do it. Once you import that, all you have to do is rotate it 90 or 270, depending on which way you held the camera. Zoom in to about 180% and that's it. That's all you have to do. That takes a shot from this to this. It is so simple. You're welcome. Tell you what, if you found that useful, do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button down there. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let me know if you found it useful. Put that down in the comments and we'll see you guys next time.